Hello Indie Game fans, the 1.0 release of Factorio marked a significant milestone for base building and automation games with an impressively compelling gameplay loop that keeps you playing. As someone who loves the subgenre, I'm happy to see it get its place in the sun, and while it may be a fool's errand to be compared to Factorio, if it did not get along with the theme or some of the survival elements, these games may be of interest to you, beginning with Automation Empire. As simple and straight to the point as the title, this game allows you to build a complex industrial network of factories and mines and use conveyors, trains, trucks and drones to transport and optimize your production. This is a much more traditional base builder since there's no player avatar and as such is a little easier to get into. A nice variety of resources, buildings and even research options and while it does have mixed reviews, this seems to be mainly the disappointment at the developers for finishing up the game on their own terms and releasing in 1.0. It's me, Vienna. I know this has taken longer than expected, but I'm happy to tell you that we've started to conclude your father's estate. I've sent you the keys for a small factory that you've inherited. Use the front door with the padlock. One hidden gem with perhaps a questionable theme is the arms manufacturing gunsmith, where you inherit a small factory and go about procuring machines and raw materials to make body armor, ammunition, and firearms. The interesting part of this is that you can obtain licenses or don't in order to manufacture certain items and can sell goods to governments, private military companies, or even paramilitary groups. So perhaps not the most legal of markets, but fair game given the industry. Still in early access, but has been getting updates, with the latest being just earlier this month, so it sure is shaping up to be a promising title. The most minimalistic title here on this list is Shapes.io, the Steam version of a .io web game with a whole host of new features. The objective here is to create certain required shapes which involves gathering, splitting and recombining other shapes of different sizes and color. While it has more of a rigid structure, requiring you to assemble X number of a certain shape in order to progress, there's still plenty to do in order to get there. While it is not in early access, this developer is continuing to work on the game, adding more features as requested by the community, and for such a low, low price, this one is a no-brainer. If you love factorial style automation games, then one which is perhaps a little different is the sandbox puzzle game Infinity Factory, where, as clearly stated in the title, it's about the infinite factory. Assemble production lines to build products for your alien overlords, and this will hit the same parts of your brain that loves building such systems. In fact, all of developer Zektronics titles will be of interest if you love the automation subgenre, so games like Space Camp and Opus Magnum are worth a look as well. If you prefer more explicitly base builder or colony sim type elements, then QB Factorium may be of interest. The main difference as compared to the other titles on this list is that you actually get to see your workers milling about, which is something that I always love. There are city building and management aspects where things like food and water are a concern, 
But at the end of the day, there are interesting production chains to build and even conveyor belts, trains and more to move the goods around. The most recent title on this list is the compelling Hydronia, a mining sandbox title with just a little bit of that freeform open world feel. Obviously, this is in first person where you are digging for gold and other precious resources and most importantly have to set up water pipelines and eventually automation systems. Pretty impressive piece of work, but it also allows you to goof off and do things like fishing. And like Shapes.io covered earlier, it is not in early access but is continuing to get free content patches. One more city builder type title with the fun Factory Town, currently in early access but with its latest update being just this month. Similar deal with QB Factorium, there are villagers on screen to gather the resources but you quickly gain the ability to build conveyor belts and that's where the fun begins. What I love about this title is that it allows you to build vertically, having crisscrossing conveyors and production buildings up in the sky. The low poly look helps with the chill vibes, and it is a lot more forgiving with less stressors than other games in the genre. One title which is not as conveyor belt focused but still fixates on automation is Autonauts where the gimmick is to train and program robots to run your production. This one is just adorable, with smiley faces on everything, and the sheer variety of things to do and production chains to manage is impressive, from chopping trees, fishing, raising animals, mining, smelting, and so on. This has been getting free updates like the Age of Enlightenment, allowing you to build a spaceport for export to other planets, and the sky really is the limit with this game. In my last video on this topic, a number of you mentioned Mindustry, which at the time was still not on Steam, but lo and behold, it did get on the platform and has been very well received. This is very similar to Factorio, but has an increased focus on the tower defense element since you need to build conveyors to feed ammo into your towers while building drills, drones and such to continue supplying resources to your core. While it looks simple visually, this can get very intense especially with huge enemy swarms, but this probably nails that expensive base building aspect the best. And of course, Satisfactory makes the list since this first person factory sim has been described as factorial but in first person and that's not too far from the truth. From the developers of Sanctum and Goats Simulator, it has impressed thus far and only looks to get better, nailing that compelling gameplay loop. With more machines, resources, vehicles, equipment, weapons and milestones to come in early access, it has a projected full release in 2022 but as good a time as any to jump in, taking the number one spot.
To see more of the big picture, check out these awesome videos and I will see you after the jump.